Symptoms of Tick-Borne Illness Many tick-borne diseases can have similar signs and symptoms. If you have been bitten by a tick and develop the symptoms below within a few weeks, a healthcare provider should evaluate the following before deciding on a course of treatment. Your symptoms, the geographic region in which you were bitten, diagnostic tests, if indicated by the symptoms and the region where you were bitten. The most common symptoms of tick-related illnesses are fever, chills. With all tick-borne diseases, patients can experience fever at varying degrees and time of onset. Aches and pains. Tick-borne disease symptoms include headache, fatigue, and muscle aches. With Lyme disease you may also experience joint pain. The severity and time of onset of these symptoms can depend on the disease and the patient's personal tolerance level. Rash Lyme disease, southern tick-associated rash illness, starry, rocky mountain spotted fever, RMSF, ehrlichiasis, and tularemia can result in distinctive rashes. In Lyme disease, the rash may appear within 3 to 30 days, typically before the onset of fever. The Lyme disease rash is the first sign of infection and is usually a circular rash called erythema migrans or M. This rash occurs in approximately 70 to 80 percent of infected persons and begins at the site of a tick bite. It may be warm, but is not usually painful. Some patients develop additional M lesions in other areas of the body several days later. The rash of starry is nearly identical to that of Lyme disease, with a red, expanding bull's eye lesion that develops around the site of a lone star tick bite. Unlike Lyme disease, Starry has not been linked to any arthritic or neurologic symptoms. The rash seen with Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, RMSF, varies greatly from person to person in appearance, location, and time of onset. About 10% of people with RMSF never develop a rash. Most often, the rash begins two to five days after the onset of fever is small, flat, pink, non-itchy spots, macules, on the wrists, forearms, and ankles and spreads to the trunk. It sometimes involves the palms and soles. The red to purple, spotted, petechial, rash of RMSF is usually not seen until the sixth day or later after onset of symptoms and occurs in 35 to 60 percent of patients with the infection. In the most common form of tularemia, a skin ulcer appears at the site where the organism entered the body. The ulcer is accompanied by swelling of regional lymph glands, usually in the armpit or groin. In about 30% of patients, and up to 60% of children, ehrlichiasis can cause a rash. The appearance of the rash ranges from macular to maculopapular to petechial, and may appear after the onset of fever. Tick-borne diseases can result in mild symptoms treatable at home to severe infections requiring hospitalization. Although easily treated with antibiotics, these diseases can be difficult for physicians to diagnose. However, early recognition and treatment of the infection decreases the risk of serious complications. So see your doctor immediately if you have been bitten by a tick and experience any of the symptoms described here. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to motivate me make more video. See you next video.